Hi everyone, welcome to the channel. This is Fahad Mirza and I'm so glad that you are here. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can locally install this open source fork of bolt.new tool which is called as AutoDev on your local system and then do AI powered web development with the help of AI agents. I will try to keep it as simple as possible and we will go step by step to get it installed and run the application locally on our server. I will be integrating it with Olama which is one of the fastest and easiest tool to run large language models locally and I have covered Olama heaps of time on my channel like more than 700 times so you can just simply go to my channel and search for Olama and you should be able to get it up and running i already have it installed if you don't simply just click on download and then for linux simply run this command for windows download this and this should be up and running in no time so what exactly this bolt.new or autodev is it is an ai powered web development agent that enables you to prompt run edit and deploy a full stack applications directly from your browser you really even don't need a local setup um, they also provide a hosted version which you can access that is called as bolt.new but I'm just going to show you how you can build your own AI powered web dev agent using the open source code base which you can see here okay now that we have done also as I mentioned earlier I already have Olama running and I will be using coin 2.5 model I will also show you how you can download it on your local system. One question you might be wondering about is that we already have covered a lot of such development agents frameworks on the channel. What's so different about bolt.new? Look, if you cut out all the marketing and hype, there is not much different than the rest of the lot, except there are a few tidbits, for example, you can do full stack development in the browser because it integrates all these AI models within in browser development environment which is powered by something called a stack blitz web containers that is a, a topic for another video but all in all primarily what it does is it allows you to install and run npm tools and libraries like white next.js and more and then you can run your own node.js servers you can interact with third-party apis and a lot of other things another thing which it does nicely is that it allows you to have an ai environment with control so unlike other development environments where ai can only assist in code generation this gives ai model complete control over the entire environment including file system node servers package managers terminal and browser console but I think that has changed lately because we already have seen few of the tools on the channel where you saw that they were now able to control the whole system too especially the one which we did yesterday Microsoft Magentic which I believe is a better tool than this one uh, I'm not undermining this tool this is also quite good but I think that is a bit more easier to implement also that also offers you multi-agent collaboration but I will let you decide after comparing both now let me take you to my terminal and we will get it installing before i do that let me give a huge shout out to our sponsors of the video who are agent ql agent ql is a query language that turns any web page into a data source with its python sdk and live debugging tool you can scrape and interact with web content agent ql works on any page it is resilient it is reusable and it structures the output according to the shape of your query and I will drop the link to their website in video's description. Okay, so that's said and done. Let me take you to my terminal where I am running Ubuntu 22.04 and I have one GPU card NVIDIA RTX A6000 with 48 GPU of VRAM courtesy and sponsored by Mast Compute and I will also introduce them to you shortly but before that let's try to get this thing installed let me create a virtual environment first it shouldn't take too long this will keep everything nice and separate from local system and next let's git clone the repo and i will drop the link of it in the video's description as i said earlier i will be using it with olama but you can also use it with any other provider like grok with openai and few others and if you want to do that if you do ls-ltra in 
uh, this folder you will see that there is an environment file so first you would need to rename that environment file to env and that is uh, only for the hosted model so if i open it for you you will see that there are a lot of api providers like rock openai and all that stuff all you need to do is to just put your openai api key here which is a paid option of course so i'm just going to exit from here because i'm just going to use olama for olama if i quickly show you i already have that olama's coin 2.5 coder model so if you want to do that simply do olama coin 2.5 and that that's pretty much it which i'm using maybe coder 2 also you see that there's a custom tag in front of it so i have just increased the context length to 32k from 2k because all these olama models they normally come with 2048k sorry 2048 context length context length is simply um, the amount of data which model can pay attention to at any given point in time and 2048 is quite less so we have to increase it and how to increase that i have done another small quick video on it so please check the channel um, but if you don't want to do it for starters uh, you can go with it but if you really want to get good results you need to increase the context length okay so i already have the llama running up and fine as you saw just saw also you would need three prerequisites in order to get um, it running one is that you should have node installed you should have npm installed and you should have pnpm installed if you don't know how to install these three please search my channel I have done a video where you can check out how to install node and npm easily and that should be pretty much it very quick and easy video okay so i already have these installed so i'm just going to kick off the installation with this pnpm and that is going to take a bit of a time so let's wait and that is all done and now we can run the application by simply doing pnpm run dev and you can see that now it has started the application on our local host at port 5173 so let me access it in the browser and there you go so autodap or bolt is running on our local system this is where you can select your api provider so we have olama i have selected the olama and then i think i would need to refresh it i guess so even refreshing is not changing this so what it means is that this browser is not supported so i'm using firefox so instead of using firefox i'm going to just close this one from here open the chrome and let me launch the chrome so this is my chrome let's run it here there you go so let me select olama first and now we have the model that is good and our custom model is there and you can start talking with it like it says build a simple blog using astro and all that stuff so maybe i'll just go with the simple one how do i center a div and you can see that it has started running so let's wait for it to come back there you go it's all running locally how simple and how cool is that very nice and then it is explaining what happened here good stuff so now i will just as the spirit of the channel is i'll be very transparent let's do it together i'm going to ask you to build a simple web page and open it in this browser let's see if it because it said that it can control the whole environment so let's see if it can or is it with docker but let's try it out so i'm just going to say build a simple html web page which says in bold subscribe to channel and then open that web page in this Chrome browser let's see yeah so the HTML looks good to me okay no, it hasn't opened it. It is asking me to save it. So can I ask it? Can you launch the can you launch this 
HTML page in browser. Okay, so it's a web container, you see. So, yes, yeah, so local file system not, but it just runs within its own web container where you can, where it can do it, but it's asking me to do so. That is fine. Okay, so, and then you can ask it any question which you like, but you already see that this coding assistant is very, very, very nice, very performant, very, very well formatted. But I see that it's not much different from what we have with a lot of other, um, I would say, coding frameworks and stuff. Lot of room for improvement, but I think uh, all in all, a good tool looks like a stable tool because when we play around with few other tools, sometimes they error out. Some, especially when get integrated with Olama, but this one is quite good. I would say in terms of integration with Olama, it's quite seamless. So really good to see that. And another good thing is that you can access it locally and privately without paying any API cost and without worrying about the throttling. So that's it. I will drop the link to it in video's description. I hope that you enjoyed it. If you did, please consider subscribing to the channel. Also, if you're looking to rent a GPU on good prices, please do check Mast Compute out. I will also give the link and a coupon code of 50% discount in video's description. Thanks for watching and enjoy your day.